All right, so I wanted to test out uh, my CRT again, and I think it's going to probably fail. Now, it's just for, for me right now with um, uh, trying to modify the Der Velkrieg CRT, it's kind of like a... I, this is not addressing in some ways, um, a little bit, but not as much as I would like, addressing what for low strength point uh, uh, combat, essentially. And I don't think my CRT is doing that enough. And I think when I start getting into fairly high strength point uh, conflicts, that's where it's too much. And now I think I'm going to really see a bad effect for um, counter attacks uh, if they're really supplied well because and you're not uh, you're not forced to retreat that's tripled it's going to be deadly with my CRT a second thing I wanted to uh, start looking at is um, alternatives to the hexagon and so on and so forth and so this guy is to blame I uh, Bob a quartery of I'm gonna put him in the links but this um, this is the one that started it off for me, the Portable War Game. I've got a few others. I've got like the, um, the developing the Portable War Game. And then I also picked up um, the Portable Napoleonic War Game. Also has a forum. Really good stuff. He says it repeatedly in his introduction and whatnot, saying, look, this is not going to be like a, a monster simulation and so on and so forth. But yet again, it's amazing how you can still get a, a fair amount of... Um, uh, interesting uh, results and a lot, you know, it, in other words, a good fun time. One of the things he has in here, he goes through an explanation of, you know, different ways of um, modeling stuff. And one of them is the offset um, square grid. And I was like, oh boy. And he even says it, he says, um, you know, one nice thing about the offset um, square grid, they're a hell of a lot easier to deal with than a hexagon. When I started looking at it, and the offset square grid, I went, wait a flippin' minute. This is, I could, in some ways, make this like a, a simplified version of uh, how to do terrain with Der Velkrieg, in the sense that each hex side, you know, ha could have a distinct piece of terrain, and then you have to figure out which way, um, you know, and sometimes, you know, the, the defender has a choice of which terrain to use based on the way you're doing combat and so on and so forth. So I wanted to go about that way and I was like, well, I can do that, therefore, with each uh, square, whatever. Um, what can I tell you about movement type stuff? So don't look at the corners. Uh, it's always going to be through the size. I'm going to be trying to do it from center to center. I decided to make everybody equal strength point wise and supply point wise. Like I said, I think my CRT is going to break apart pretty f uh, pretty quick. But I'm also massively intrigued with this offset square grid. Very simple. This is a functional map, for goodness sakes. And so the blank is clear uh, open terrain or clear terrain. Uh, the little trees are woods. Uh, these are going to represent broken terrain. So we're going to go through the CRT again very quickly. I'm not going to play around or whatever, but I just wanted to go through it. So um, the clear terrain is uh, going to be uh, one movement point. There's no combat effects uh, for the attack or the counter attack. For broken terrain, it's still one movement point. Um, and there's minus one to the uh, attacker's die roll, and there's nothing for the uh, defender's counterattack. And then I'm using, like I said, wood's going to still be the same way. It's going to be two movement points, minus two to the attacker's die roll, and plus one to the uh, counterattack. I've given all the troops um, uh, 12 strength points with a reserve each. Here's the... <clears throat> so I've... If you want, you can call it Germans and Austrians versus... Um, Austro-Hungarians versus two uh, Russian troops, uh, armies, fine. I'm also playing, uh, and so you can see here's the um, the army headquarters with these little C's in the green 40s. That's a lot of supply points for a little amount of area and troops in here. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not going to do anybody entrenched. And there's the river. Uh, what other wrinkles can I say? Maybe I'll do like a pretendo uh, whatever, I still ha haven't even figured out who's going to go first. Like I said, I think my CRT is going to fall apart real quick. Uh, that's fine because I want to see uh, what I need to do. But I'm monstrously intrigued with this type of uh, square terrain. 
These guys I should gray out because you're not going to be using them. Like I said, oh, here, okay, so now we're going to get into the wrinkles. Each side just rolls one die. However, the effects are going to be based on what that particular unit is um, uh, attacking from and what the, uh, the defending unit can defend from. So in other words, if, for example, uh, well, we'll, we'll get, get into example, I'm not doing it in the, the Devout Creek way and like um, everybody just uses one terrain type. No, so it's going to be different. I'll try to, maybe I'll do one. Uh, also, the river, I don't care if, uh, I'm sorry, I don't. I really don't. So let's say, for example, um, the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians decide, well, let's do one. Let's just for, for the sake of doing one because he's in clear train, but you, you, I think you're starting to hopefully get the idea. So there we go. I've got, you know what I mean? It's like, and I'll, a quickie movement. I, I, it's such a small uh, board. I don't know if I should be doing movement of four and whatnot and so on and so forth. Well, maybe we'll stick with the movement of four. Germans and Austro-Hungarians, well, someone would have five. Let's just stick with four, four across the board, except for the headquarters. I want to give them only a one. I don't, like I said, I think it'll just be neat to see. Uh, no transfer of uh, supply points or troops. The reserve troops, however, can be broken up. If I want to uh, like do groups of four, I'm just trying to get into that groups of four and eight and all that stuff. Nobody can get above 12. I'm just using that as my stacking limit or my um, infrastructure limit. And I'm just going with it. Like I said, I just want to see what the hell is going to happen here. Um, and away we go. So like, what I was saying is this guy's going to have a... Um, a negative modifier because he's uh, attacking across the river. I do not care if every other person that was attacking is on the other side of the river. This guy still is and I want him um, penalized for that all the time. We just roll once uh, and then it may be a bit more complicated, may have to do some paperwork, but such is life. So let's say, well, I'm just going to go for it because it's just a pretend. So we're going to go with um, and I'll try to talk this out again, I guess, a little bit. Because he's in clear terrain, so it's just going to be the river uh, thing that uh, is affected, essentially. So, let's see here. i got to go and get out a piece of paper and all that stuff. And I'll try to zoom out a little bit so you can see the, 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 um, the, die, uh, the die roll if you want. Okay, hold on here. i got to, like, like I said, i got to write down some stuff. Okay. So I've got 12 strength points in the eye. And I'm still using the, the rules of four and eight movement points, like four for an attack and, and eight for a counterattack, and so on and so forth. And it's through the sides. Not you know what I mean? Not uh, not the corners here. So so that's um, I can supply this guy no problemo, as far as I know. One, two, three, four, because the broken terrain does not uh, uh, affect movement. It's the woods right now that it is doing. Okay. So 12 um, strength points for this German army here is going to cost three supply points. So I'm just writing it down because I'm going to have to reduce, uh, reduce that later. But that's a full-on uh, 12 points. And the Austro-Hungarian guys, uh, can they supply, I, like I said, I positioned everybody properly, I hope. One, two, three. You see how it goes? One, two. It's fascinating. I love it. So, okay, I'm going to also write down that. G, A, H, three supply points. Sorry if I'm, I'll try to actually right away on the side so you, I don't shake the camera as much. It's hard. Yeah, I've, like I've said before, and uh, Clark Commando 1983 repeatedly kept telling me, they're not expensive. Just buy a freaking proper camera tripod, you tit. All right, so there we go. And like I said, we're going to just roll once and then I'm going to see what the amount of hits would be based on that. It's still going to be the total strength points, if you see what I mean. So they're going in with a total 24 strength points. This guy will not be... Uh, oh shit. Oh, that's sorry. It's the, uh, the Russians. I'm getting all excited here. I think I could just do... Oh, and there's a die roll modifier for me due to the fact I'm doing... Uh, remember, command and control issues with different armies. So they're going to get a minus one to their die roll. Both of them. Okay. So minus one DRM due to the fact it's a combined army attack. 
and the uh, uh, the Germans are going to get pretty bad at, uh, um, pretty bad uh, thing because they're across the river, a minor river. Hold on, I gotta look it up again just to make sure I'm doing it properly. Where are you? Major river. I'm pretty sure it's um, river. Minus two to the attack roll. And we'll do the counterattack later. So that means the Germans are going to get minus three and the Austro-Hungarians are going to get a minus one. We still go on the 24 column. That's the way I'm doing things. All right. So it's a nine and now I go and figure out what the hell's going on. So a 24, I'll try to, so like I said, a nine, but we'll do the Austro-Hungarians first. So they're at a six, but now it's an eight. So they're a five. Uh, no, they're still a six. They make it. Oof. Okay, so that's six hits. See what I mean? We're already getting into really bad land. This is not good. And I'm going to do half, uh, half strength points each. Let's not worry about the Russians having only a third and so on and so forth. I'm just trying to see things. But I can see my CRTs in in uh this is you know really bad especially wait until we see we get into the counter attack imagine if we well, well like i said i gotta learn and then it's minus three die roll um modifier on the uh um for the germans so they're at 24 i rolled a nine so that now that's a six on a 24. so it's five hits i don't know if you can see that so that's five hits. That's 11 hits. Holy shoot. So that's more, uh, obviously, than the, uh, more than half. So the Russians will be forced to retreat. And they're going in now with a times two counterattack. Yeah, I can, I, this is just too much. It's too over the top. But they're going to be able to counterattack uh, properly. So I'm going to fully supply. I still have to pay the 12. So that's going to be six supply points because it's a counterattack. It's a lot more expensive. And then, um, so I take the 12 and I just multiply by two because I ha I'm forced to retreat. Oh, the irony. We're at 24. <laughs> but I, you know, I don't, I, I don't get double trouble in a sense. Now, how do I do this though with the, oh no, uh, huh. This is interesting. I don't understand how to do the counterattack then because it's counterattacking at different ways. So how am I going to figure this out here? Hold on. So I counterattack norm. So I'm just going to roll. Shit. I don't know how to do that then because I can't split up the counterattack. Hmm. Okay. So I get a two. So if, let's say, you, you see what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna, hold on here. I'm, like I'm trying to think things out here. Okay, so on a two, <clears throat> excuse me. A two on a 24 is four hits. Okay, so that means, I wonder if I average it out maybe or, hmm. I've still got to figure this out because it's like, well, I'm not being, I'm being pretty specific with the attack from where you're coming from, but how the hell do I do that backwards? So the Austro-Hungarians would get four hits, but it's combined in total. Hmm. And then would I just have to roll separately each time? Because no. Okay. So it's a two on a 24. And I said that the... Let's find out what the, I think it's plus two they get. No, it's plus one on the die roll. So it's a 24. Plus one on the die roll. And and I said it was a uh, two. So it's a three. And it would be still be four hits. So I'm okay here. In, in other words, um, they'll split the attacks. But I'm wondering if I could do some kind of weirdo wrinkle that if you're in the... No, oh, maybe that's it because he he does that way this in a reverse way when you go to advance after combat. 
Um, all right. Uh, so, uh, shoot, it's, I'll still have to think this out. So it'll be, let's say, in a sense that because uh, the Germans were across the river and based on the die roll, they, uh, and the die, uh, the negative die roll modifiers, um, they would have taken more hits than the Austro-Hungarians. Should I therefore um, figure out, like, okay, therefore the higher percentage of those hits have to go, let's say you get three hits in total. Um, two out of that three has to go to the Germans. I don't know if I'm getting too complicated or, or whatnot, but at least we know the, uh, the Russians had to um, retreat. And then somebody's going to go up there after I, um, you know, I would have to reduce the whatevers. But I'll just pop them up here because I, at least I've got it on the, uh, on the sheet. And now it's like, okay, um, I have to figure out about this. Do I now, am I allowed to split up troops? Because um, I've been doing very much like you're a separate unit and I didn't want to start breaking you apart. Hmm. Because you don't want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I wouldn't want to leave a gap there. But would I move the Germans? Because I want to keep things, yeah, I'm going to, like I said, I'm still trying to play things out. Things are not going to, and yet again, it could be, well, I'm adding extra strategic wrinkles or something. I'm going to start seeing things like, you know, you shouldn't be doing those things, Chris. Um, so I'll move the Germans. I'm going to make the Germans advance, which means I now have a break in my, in my line here. And, um... And yet again, everybody here, here, and here. I'll I'll remember. I'll just go and look, or or I should put some little funky bits here, so I'll remember that I've got to reduce the uh, strength points. <sighs> this is like, yeah, uh, yep. You got to get reduced in strength, and you, and you. But it's uh, this is interesting. Again, I'm having fun. And that's the whole point. Well, I also want to stretch my brain for sure. All right. Hope you're having fun. See ya.